Before you start, please reference your owner's manual. This video is discussing through frame slide systems. At Leopard Components, we are dedicated to improving the mobile lifestyle. We understand problems sometimes arise, and this video will help you better understand your specific component and how to resolve your specific issues. Please thoroughly read your owner's manual first. Tools you will need in order to manually operate your electric slide out. You will need a crank handle, wrench, or power drill with nut driver or ratchet. In the event of a motor failure or an, or an electrical problem, we have a manual crank that is accessible from the side of your coach that we can crank the slide out out. You slide the crank on and you go and you check if it's hard to move, you turn it the opposite way. This should not, you should not force this to crank it out and you can take that slide out out or in easily with this crank. It is counterclockwise for extend, clockwise for retract. If you do not have exterior access to manually override your slide out, you'll have to go underneath and use a 5 8 wrench and turn it out off the actuator. A through frame override crank extension is located outside of the chassis main rail. Caution, there is a maximum extension and retraction point in all Lippert slide out systems. Overextending or retracting the slide room can damage slide out components and room structure. If gears are stripped due to overextending or retracting slide out, your warranty may be voided. If you need more information, you can also go to lci1.com and select the menu item named Customer Service. Visit us online at www.lippertcomponents.com. For additional troubleshooting information, contact Lippert Components Incorporated, Customer Service Division, 1701 Century Drive, Goshen, Indiana, 46528.